we can't subtract these two fractions right now because they don't have common denominators. So what we have to do is multiply each fraction, and we're going to put parentheses around the top here too. We've got to multiply each fraction by the other fraction's denominator to the top and the bottom. So look, this fraction was x plus 1. I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by x minus 1. So over here, uh, this fraction is x minus 1 in the bottom, so I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by x plus 1 and put everything in parentheses. Okay, so if we do that, this is where you'd want to write x plus 1 times x plus 1 off to the side and use your FOIL method, or some people do something called the box method. But you multiply those two parentheses, you should get x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then this is x plus 1, x minus 1. And then over here, x minus 1 times x minus 1, that's going to give you x squared minus 2x plus 1 over the same thing. I'm just going to put quotes because we've got common denominators. And now that we have common denominators, we can subtract the numerators. But watch out, it's not just x squared minus x squared. You've got to subtract everything over here. So when you write out the top, you should write it like this. With parentheses around it. That way your brain knows, and just quotes for ditto, right? This is the bottom. Uh, that way your brain knows to distribute the minus sign to everything. So the top becomes this when we distribute the minus sign. And then we still have the same thing on bottom, so there's my quotes again. x squared subtracted by x squared makes nothing. 1 subtracted by 1 makes 0. And then 2x plus 2x makes 4x. So this is our final answer, 4x over x plus 1, x minus 1, that common denominator we got.